I didn't know that, so he's probably playing for him. <laughs> oh yeah, no, of course we are. We're here every other, every other Sunday and we're going through fine. Today we're just kind of going through almost made it decks, almost good enough decks, instead of me pulling up adding Nisters again or something like that, because the FNL list hasn't changed. But Dan's got me excited about Despia, but maybe we'll look into that another time. So you got the ghost ship. Uh, yeah, so I was playing this uh, because it's a monster you could search for, for off of Chaos Space. Mm -hmm. uh, but then the problem is, is that you have to discard a dark monster to find it, and then it can't summon the ghost ship, which is why I got cut for Force Raider. <laughs> so, what about uh, Solar Wind Jammer? Doesn't that one just say if you control no monsters, plop it down and it's a level 5 light? It's a wind monster. Ah, oh, wind, okay. Which is which is why I didn't see play in the final deck, uh, which is why I was playing Force Raider, but again, I want to play something better, so this hand is a little bit... Yeah, this, eh, this is a big ol' go second hand. Yeah, and we're... But, you know, it's going to be quite hard for opponent to kill me for a set wing Rebo, ironically. If they, even if they access code tools, um, I can't take damage. Oh, look, opponent's playing Burn! What a friggin' surprise if it's crying. <laughs> oh, that's not crying. He's got just a challenge. The, the trophy, yeah. The trophy, yeah. <laughs> His name is Game Over. Oh, well, there's a good top deck. Oh, it is a light machine. Oh. Huh. Maybe I should be playing a single solo Windjammer then. That was a good show. Well, yeah, this time we remember the Anima. Metal Reflex Slime. E yeah. Yeah, that's not... Such an awkward time to activate it, but I suppose he was sick of it asking. Yeah, Which exactly. tells me he doesn't have a second card in his hand that it's asking about, because otherwise he wouldn't... Yeah, and... Um... This is uh, one of the things where I keep getting told a lot by a lot of people that the Selene laddering is really, really strong, but I have found in the last couple of decks I've been building, I don't end up with enough spells in my graveyard to actually resolve its effect. It's like, oh, you need to take three characters off of it. And That's like, oh, because 99% that. of the time, the way we're getting to Selene is by using spells. Yeah, and it's the last couple of decks I've been trying it out in is just not... Uh, it's just not been there. And there you go. We, this is the reason that we're playing Chaos Creepos. It's just that we have five free access code talker, followed up by Black Master Soldier. Uh, to get the just get over 8k. But yeah, yeah, it's it's risky. Like it's not it doesn't quite have enough oomph. Like if something goes wrong, uh you, you end up in a situation where it's like I don't have enough attack points to kill you. But the chaos side of the deck worked really, really well. I just wish there was a one card starter that made this that sort of glued all this deck together. Mm. 